The Bible makes 300 references to young people, although youth can cover quite a large age range. There are broadly three ways of talking about youth. In one, youth is a time of promise and potential. Young people represent humanity at its most attractive and physically fit, when romantic love is at its most vibrant. Daniel and his three companions are depicted in the prime of life in this way. Most memorably, in Isaiah 40, we learn that those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength, first discovering that the young will faint and be weary. O Ye That Love the Lord was written in 1892 when Samuel Coleridge Taylor was 17. Samuel Coleridge Taylor's mother came from London and his father from Sierra Leone. He became a successful musician but died of pneumonia at the age of 37. He experienced racial discrimination but was also received by Theodore Roosevelt at the White House in 1904, a rare event for a black person in those days. The second sense of youth in the Bible is as wayward and misspent, often in contrast to the more sober lifestyle of mature years. Ecclesiastes, for example, says that youth and the dawn of life are vanity, 
though to be fair, Ecclesiastes sees a lot of things as vanity. The most famous example of this strand is the prodigal son of Jesus' parable in Luke chapter 15. William Dennis Brown wrote his Nunc Dimittis in A in 1911 when he was 23. Of Anglo-Irish descent, he attended Clare College, Cambridge, and was a friend of Rupert Brooke, whom he met at rugby school. He died during the Gallipoli campaign in 1915, aged just 26, having previously been with Brooke when he died. The irony of such a young man composing a setting of the Nunc Dimittis is that the latter is spoken in Luke's Gospel by a very old man, Simeon. The third sense of youth in the Bible is as a time of establishing a pattern for life. This is prominent in the references to my son in Proverbs. The letter to Titus, for example, urges younger men to control themselves, and the first letter to Timothy urges the recipient not to let anyone despise their youth, yet to aim at righteousness. Herbert Howells was born in 1892 and wrote In Youth is Pleasure in 1915, when he was 23. In the same year, he became ill with Graves' disease and was given six months to live, a fact that gives this composition especial poignancy. In fact, Howells lived to the age of 90 and died in 1983. 